Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we have the second episode of the dev blogs in the Stone Visualizer Kit, where I'll be showing the jigsaw inventory and also the clothing and armor systems, how it feels in the game, how it's built, and how you can tune it. So let's go. So let's start with the inventory component. This is a pretty big and complex system, so we'll do my best to not get too deep into the implementation but I also don't want to skip parts of uh, go over things and not comment on them so let's see how it goes I would like to start with the items we already saw in the last video the DT items table which holds all the information for the items you can also check this in the, in the documentation if you want which are also covered there but basically this is where each item is set up with the with the correct title class mesh weight description etc so for example we can see here that we have an armor item and there are several items types we also have some configuration for the inventory, the item width and height. This is how many slots it will cover. If it can be stacked or not, in this case, it can't. And if it can be crafted or not. So let's start with the clothing items, which are the easiest to, to cover. So as you can see here, the the player started with no clothing so if we pick the camo jacket for example we will see the representation here on the right and of course it will also appear in the player itself and we can see it on the left that now we have some spaces to restore other, other items so if I pick up a rack for example it will appear here so clothing can, for example, have protection, like in this case, have 30 protection. This is a flat protection. So if you, you, we will see later when we test the armor, but it will basically absorb the damage that it says there. It also has 15 slots that we can see here on the left and it weighs 1.5 kilo, kilograms. So there are some items like the boots, for example, that doesn't have any slots nor protection. So it will not appear here on the left, on the left, and it won't cover any damage, basically. So we have different type of items. We have some ammo. We have some wooden rings and we have some armor as we saw and of course the weapons so if you pick up a weapon we'll see here they has some information so each item will have a description and some required information like the weight for example and there is some optional that will depend on the item type like in this case the weapon we have a weapon type, a damage, recoil, fire mode, etc. Um, for example, the food here will restore food or, or water levels. So each item, item type will change how these are displayed and how they are used, basically. So some features regarding the inventory, you can, for example, drag and drop items between the same compartment I call compartment the the, item, the the clothing so we can move that around it will appear a green background when they can be placed correctly and if you try to override an item it will turn red so you can't place them on top of it um, for example if I 
drag an item like in this case the the shields to the ground it will also spawn the items that were inside of it now we can put them back so you can also collapse of course the inventories this is just for organization when you have several stuff like a backpack and a vest and you don't want to scroll for example let's say you want to store everything in the backpack you can drag them here and collapse and it will remain collapsed whenever you open the inventory again so as we saw the items has a width and a height that will be represented here on the on the grid so for example if i get the ammo it has one on one i can set it to three and three and i pick the backpack for example it will be huge so the main table where you can set up the clothing and armor settings is the DT armor. So if we open this up, we can see here that we have the different items. In this case, let's go with the camo jacket. We can see the socket, where it should be placed. Of course, this is a top. We have the mesh, the skeletal mesh. We have the protection, the slots, as we saw earlier, the slots are represented by a grid in the inventory. If it has protection or not. So I have an actor here that will help us display this easier. That basically will shoot every one second, do 10 of damage. Uh, let's debug the trace. So I have 20 protection, 100 health. If I get hit on the chest or in the arms, it will absorb the damage. As you can see here, it's still I still have 100 health, and it go down by 10. I got another hit and now the item is ruined. What this means when the current protection is zero, I still can use it, I still can pick items, move them around, etc. It will it will not absorb any damage. If I go here, take a hit, you can see that it starts to do damage and also, if I unequip this, I won't be able to equip it back. It's at least broken or ruined. So, also, for example, if I equip a leg item, it won't cover other parts that are not legs. So, go here, I will take a hit, because it's on the chest, it will do damage. The protection of the legs is still 15. If I lower this to say the to the legs, and let's try again. See if I can hit the leg there, you can see here that starts to absorb them. We also have some layering. So for example, if I equip And a vest. Of course, the vest is on top of the jacket, so it should absorb damage first, the vest, and then the top. So if I do this, you can see here that the vest is absorbing the damage first. Once it's broken, it will start absorbing the thing that is below it. So you can set up this in the DT armor socket bones. 
So basically, we have already set up, but if you want to change it, you can change it here. So for example, the best covers the spine bone that has basically from the uh, waist up and we we are going to exclude the arms so of course if we have a vest we don't have arm cover i think that's enough for today i hope you like the video if you want me to go deeper into the implementation just let me know i will i will do a video on the specific logic behind how the system works maybe not a tutorial because it will take me several hours to do even days but i can go over the logic around the functions that i have here how you can set up your own inventory how it's structured so you have a better idea and how to implement it yourself if you want or if you're curious just to know what's happened happening behind the scenes and yeah i'm open to any feedback of course and thank you for watching see you in the next one